Hi, my name is Leo Miriamchev, and today we're going to be talking about user management in the M-Climate Enterprise. Before we do so, I want to say a few words about how the structures in the enterprise, how the digital twin of the building basically works. Um, and then we're going to move to this section with users and how we can manage uh, different types of users for different assets. But let's first understand what an asset is. An asset uh, basically is everything that you see in the structure of a building. So a building might have floors or it might not. Um, on every specific, specific floor afterwards, on every level, you might have, you know, multiple, let's say, offices or spaces, as we call them. It's called an office if it's a commercial building and an um, uh, apartment if it's a, a residential building. But here we see that we have only one floor. We might have more, but we have only one. Uh, and then on this floor, we have, uh, on the third level, we have an office one and office two. And then office one is further divided into room one and room two. So basically, with the user management, you can say, I want to have an administrator of only the first floor, or I want to have an administrator of the entire building. And this means that if somebody is, let's say, uh, an end user to this um, office, then they would be able to see those two rooms. Uh, and if there are any, um, you know, anywhere above, um, on the on this tree, they would be able to see everything that's below. Now, having said that, uh, let's move to the actual um, user management example. Here I have a building, it's the M Climate Office, it's a test building, and here we have two users. We can see that we have um, an email address as an administrator that has joined on a specific date, and we have uh, a moderator which has joined on a specific date. You might see that actually those are, um, you know, on the building level. Um, but if what happens if I want to add to, let's say, uh, the first level? Let's say I want to add an end user only to the first floor. Let's say I'm a commercial building and I have some tenants on the first floor. So I say um, a, an email address and I also put what is the desired row. Now, what is the difference between rows? Admins and moderators are almost the same, but they, they can basically do anything inside the building. But in the meantime, um, the, the key difference between those two is the access to billing. Admins can access the billing section of the enterprise, while moderators cannot. So let's say you're, um, um, I don't know, let's say a facility management company, uh, and to your, comp to your clients, uh, you would be an admin in your building. But if you want to see them the billing, you can make them an admin as well. And if you don't want them to see the billing, then you would make them an, a moderator. It would still mean that, um, you know, they have full access to uh, uh, everything that you have assigned them to based on this uh, graph that we described. Um, but they wouldn't be able to access the billing. The end user has a more limited access. They cannot add devices. They cannot do a, a number of things. But uh, I'm not going to go into too much detail because soon we're going to be launching uh, basically a permission table saying, okay, this user can do this, this, and this. Uh, kind of a checkbox, a list, what they can do. But that's in the future. So let's say I just have a tenant here. I want them to be able to control the devices, view the graphs, um, but not change anything, not really about the structure. So I make them an end user. I click Submit, and then, as you can see, on this level, I have an uh, end user. An end user, which is joined, because we already have an account, uh, with this email, uh, with the, at this point of, in time. Um, now, important, if you add somebody that does not have an mClimate account, they will receive an invite, prompting them to register with the same email that you invited them with, and it's going to, um, you know, automatically give them access. Um, and that's pretty much it. If you want to edit the, um, um, the uh, uh, access to a user, then you can do it like this. And then we see that Nicole is now a user, uh, an administrator. And if you want to completely delete the user from somewhere, you can, again, do it like this. Um, that's it from me. Thank you for your time. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to reach out to us uh, on our email. Thank you. Bye-bye.